First symptom of a collapsed wear bar is while you're cycling the room, the room will give a skipping sensation or a jumping sensation while the room is cycling. In this case, the first thing you're gonna do before ordering any parts are you're gonna have to measure the height of your wear bar. The way you're gonna do that is you're gonna run the room in approximately a foot to where you can look behind your side fascia. Once you have the room ran in, you'll be able to see this portion of the wear bar exposed past your slide room floor. At this point, you're gonna measure the height of the wear bar itself. So as if you're gonna hook underneath the center support of that wear bar to the top of the wear bar. In this case, it's three quarters of an inch. Now we know that we'll need to order three quarter of an inch tall rollers. This particular repair is designed specifically for the wear bar seen in this image. As seen in the video, the roller needed depends on the height of this wear bar. These can be added for rooms that are skipping or when they are simply struggling to retract, but only for the wear bar pictured here. Wear bar height of 3 quarters inch will need part number 854303. Wear bar height of half an inch will need part number 854304. The quantity of the rollers will be determined by the length of the room as seen in this chart. Written instructions for this repair can also be found on BALRVProducts.com. Before starting the repair, you will want to jack the room up to take the weight off the existing wear bar. Always be conscious of how close the roof of the room is to the top of the rough opening to avoid damage. Push the wipe seal inward under the room and hold a roller up to the floor where you plan to mount it. Mark each side. Notch the wipe seal only. Do not cut out or remove the existing wear bar. The rollers are meant to assist the wear bar. Fasten the bracket of the roller through the face with five number 10 screws. When a slide is already equipped with standard roller seen here, but the room is struggling or tripping the 30 amp breaker, count the number of rollers installed by pulling down the bottom wipe seal along the bottom edge of the opening. If you find that additional rollers are needed based on the chart, an aftermarket roller has been designed to allow the installation of the correct size roller without removing the slide box or hyperextending. These rollers are installed the same way as the before mentioned or bar assist roller.